In this video, we're going to go over how to set up gift cards on your WooCommerce store. You will be able to set up gift cards and sell them at fixed amounts such as $10, $25, or $50. Your customers will be able to purchase your gift cards for themselves or their friends, and they even can schedule a gift card to be sent to their friends at a later date if they choose to do so. So we're gonna go over gift cards today, but before we jump into it, if this is your first time here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe button, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So I have this Charlie's Coffee site, and I wanna add gift cards to this site. With the holidays coming up, it's just a great way to add gift cards, and just in general, gift cards are a great way to get more revenue. So. Let's add them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to my WordPress dashboard. I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new. And I'm gonna upload this WooCommerce gift cards plugin zip file. That link can be found in the description box below. And after activating the plugin, I'm gonna go, let's go and start creating a gift card. So I'm just gonna name this um, gift card $10 right and i'm going to come down here and since i use this thing i selected the box gift card and i'm going to put this for ten dollars and i'm not going to have the gift card expire and the email image that i want to use on the email is going to be the product image i upload so you know you could upload a custom image if you want to you could use the product image or you could use none for me, I wanna use the product image because this is the product image that I wanna show in the email. So I'm gonna go and upload this $10 product image right here that I quickly made. Awesome. So I'm gonna publish this gift card. And now if I go through the checkout process, so let's say I want to send this to, we'll just do test to sgwoodverse.com and I'm gonna deliver it now, but you could choose to deliver it at a later date if you wanted to, maybe it's someone's birthday coming up or whatever it is. So I'm gonna do now. Awesome, so I'm gonna go through the checkout process and I'm gonna place my order. Awesome, so I just placed an order for a gift card and I sent it to someone else and now I'm gonna to go to that email for my friend John to see what he sees when he gets the gift card sent to him awesome so John's gonna get an email that someone sent him this gift card and he can see the gift card with the gift message that I sent them as well as um, the code that you can use at checkout or you can add it himself to his account so let's say he just wants to use this code at checkout so I'm just gonna open up an incognito window as John and go through the checkout process using the gift card that Simon just sent me. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna purchase some coffee with this gift card I got, and I'm gonna purchase this coffee box. It's been on my radar. It's been on John's radar for a while and I'm just imitating John, but I'm just gonna buy this coffee box using the gift card that code that got sent to him. So I'm gonna proceed to checkout. Awesome, and I'm, if I enter this gift card code and I apply it, it's gonna take $10 off the order. And if I go and purchase this coffee box with the gift card, so I was able to successfully purchase the gift card with, or purchase the coffee box with the gift card that Simon sent me, and if I go back to the back end, I can see how the, the gift card looks and how it was generated and the activity all relating to the gift card that I sent to John. So I'm gonna go back to my WordPress dashboard. I'm gonna go to WooCommerce orders and I can see the first order right here where Simon bought the gift card, right? And I also can come back to this orders page and I can click the John Web Partner, and I can see that here's the gift card that was used that reduced the price, and I can also view this gift card, right? I also can view this by going marketing gift cards, 
and I can see that this gift card was sent from Simon to this email. And I can see that it was issued at this date and it was used right on this date. So issued and then debit. I can do like more stuff as well. I can, you know, resend to the recipient. I can, you know, look at all the gift cards that I have. And right now I only have um, one gift card that's been purchased, right? One gift card code. And I also can see activity for all my gift cards in my store. Now the next step I wanna show you guys is setting up a variable product so I could have, you know, $10, $25, $50 all on one gift card product as well as some other settings such as maybe choosing a different design for two different gift cards. Let's say you wanna do like a happy birthday design and then you have like your normal gift card design. But before doing that, I just wanna show you guys these settings real quick. So I didn't wanna bore you, I wanted to show you guys something of how, to, how this all works first. But if I go to settings, WooCommerce and click the gift cards tab, I can see you know, the four settings they really have. So I'm gonna allow customers to store gift cards in their account page if they want to. And then this prevent customers from using coupons to discount gift cards. Now, if you're doing like a store-wide sale, such as 20% off all products or 20% off site-wide, this could be something where your gift cards would also be discounted. So you could prevent customers from using coupons to discount gift cards. So let's say you're having a Black Friday sale for 20% off your whole store, but you don't want gift cards to be 20% off. You could check this and then gift cards would not be you know, subject to the store-wide sale. So, but for now, I don't have any store-wide sales right now, so it doesn't make sense for me to check this, but this is just a uh, heads up. And then right now, only administrators can view the gift cards codes by going to marketing you know, gift cards that we just were looking at at each gift card code. I think it's like 19 digits or 17 digits. But if you wanna allow shop managers, you could as well by checking this. And with that, let's set up that variable product with, with different amounts and different designs for one gift card product. So I'm gonna go to new product. And I'm just gonna name this gift card. And I'm gonna check gift card. And I'm gonna go to variable product. I'm gonna do the attributes. I'm gonna do design. Use for variations. And then another one's gonna be amount. So I'm just gonna do 10, 25, 50, and I'm just do those three. User variations. Awesome. And now if I come to these variations, I'm gonna do create variations for all attributes. And I can add in each different um, picture if I wanted to. So right now I could do I'm only gonna have the classic design. So the classic design is what we used originally right here. And this is gonna be $10, right? And I, I don't have a birthday design for the $10 gift card, so we're gonna skip that. And I'm gonna fill in this classic right here. And now is where I'm gonna upload this birthday specific design. So you guys will see in a second. And I know I'm the birthday for the 50. And the classic, I'm just gonna re-upload this classic one for 50. Awesome. So then the product image that I want to set in the shop, I want to do something generic just in case maybe people want to want to know that it, it's not all just $10 or $25 or $50. So I'm going to upload another design for the product image. And you could do something like this, or I'm just going to use something like this. And I'm going to upload this image as my product photo. And now I'm going to publish this product. And now if I view this gift card, I can see that I can choose the amount 
right? And let's say I choose this 25, I can go from, you know, birthday to classic design, anniversary design, whatever you wanna do with it, you can upload different images to show a different gift card. Let's say I wanna send this to myself, just as a, a test. Enjoy your B-Day. And I'm gonna do this on, you know, I could schedule it to send it tomorrow, you know, at a later date. If I do this nine right here, maybe that's the, the easiest, most clear. I'll just say deliver it tomorrow. If I add this to my cart, right, and I proceed to check out, I'm gonna purchase this gift card, but before you can see the message, the delivery date, and I'm gonna click place order. Awesome, so I placed an order for a gift card for myself that I can use. And if I go to my, my account page and I click this gift cards tab, I can see that my balance is zero because the gift card that I bought for myself has not been sent to me yet. It's gonna be sent tomorrow. So I can come back to the WordPress dashboard and if I go to marketing gift cards, I can see that another gift card has been created for $25. It's from myself and I'm sending it to myself. So let's say I click into this gift card. I wanna see if maybe there's a way I can have it be delivered right now. So if I come down here, this delivery date is November 9th, so roughly 24 hours from now. So how could I just speed this up and have this delivered? Let's do today at in like three minutes. So I'm gonna update this. Maybe a customer says, hey, I had this scheduled to send on this date. Can I move it up to you know earlier so it's gonna be sent you know before I see them or before I see them at their birthday? I originally wanted to have them send the gift card on directly on their birthday, but I'm gonna see them for whatever, a barbecue on Tuesday and their birthday is Friday, so can you send it on Tuesday? So you could manually adjust this if you wanted to. But let's say I update this, so this will send it in about two minutes to myself. So I waited those few minutes and my gift card successfully was rescheduled and sent to me. And now if I view this gift card, I can see you know it's ready to be used and it's using this happy birthday image that I set. So I can either use this gift card, this code at checkout, or I can add this to my account. So if I come back to my account page before clicking add to your account, I can see that there's still no gift card balance in my account. So I need to come back to my email and I wanna add this to my account so I can use um, basically the gift card balance to make future purchases. So I'm gonna click add to my account and awesome, the gift card was added to my account and now I have a $25 gift card that I purchased for myself that I can use in future transactions. So let's say I wanted to purchase you know, a medium roast, and I wanna purchase a coffee grinder, right? And I could use, like gift cards can still be used with WooCommerce subscriptions as well. So let's say I wanted to update this to get medium roast and coffee grinder. So I'm gonna proceed to checkout, and I will get this option during the checkout process to use $25 for my gift cards balance that was added to my account. And after clicking that, I can see that the gift card balance was used and my total for this order was adjusted. And I am going to place my order. And now if I go back to my account page, I can see that my gift card balance is zero and I can see the activity of, I added a gift card to my account and I used the gift card to pay for this order In addition, for the store admin, they can come back to their WooCommerce dashboard and they can go to this gift cards tab and they can see the activity of the specific gift card right here. It was issued, it was um, redeemed, and then it was used. All the activity for, for this specific gift card can also be shown by clicking directly into the gift card Awesome, so now we've set up gift cards with a fixed amount as a simple product for $10, as well as a variable price amount such as $10, $25, $50, with just the $25 gift card having that different design. And to spice things up, I wanna set 
this gift card right here. I'm gonna go to my variations and I'm just gonna set the gift card to um, $25 as the default amount and the default design to classic. So if I save this and I view it, you know, it could make it easier for people to see this. And I could also maybe add the variation swatches, um, variation swatches plugin that I also link in the bio or in the cards here. If you guys want to check out how to maybe make this Im these variation images of their designs, make it easier for people to choose what gift card design they want. So that's basically it. Now, if I really wanted to take this a step further, I would make, you know, this $10 gift card, and then make a separate simple product for the $25 gift card, and then one for the $50 gift card. And I also could set up a special gift card category page by assigning these products to the gift card category page. And then I'm gonna make simple products for the, the $25 gift card. Or I'm gonna clone this product and this one's actually gonna be the variable product. So I'm gonna just update this real quick. I'm gonna set this as classic. And as you can see here, I'd update or upload both or assign both photos. And then I'm gonna assign the birthday one. And I am going to save these changes. And I have this product image that I need to update. Awesome. So I'm going to publish this gift card for $25. And now if I view this gift card, I can see the same thing, right? It has this birthday versus classic. And if I go back to my shop, I have these three gift cards and now I want to make one for 50 real quick. And then I'm just going to update this product image to 50. And I'm gonna publish this product. And now I'm gonna view this product. Awesome. So I'm quickly going to go over, you know, just cleaning up my shop page to not have it all just be gift cards right away. So I'm gonna come back to my Word or WooCommerce dashboard. I'm gonna to go to products and I'm gonna to go to sorting and I'm gonna sort all these products. Like I'm gonna bring gift cards all the way down here. I'm gonna bring gift cards all the way down here. Bring gift cards all the way down here. So what I could also do is I also could open up that category page for coffee or for gift cards. And if I open up that category page just for gift cards, this could be a great thing to put in like email newsletters or you know have it this be a drop down if you wanted to where it's all just focused on you know maybe like a gift guide or guys gift card or something like that whatever you want to do but you could make just this just makes it really easy for people to see ten dollar gift card and then they come down here they see related products so i just always think it's easier rather than having them scroll through variations sometimes you know, they can just be like, I just want to get a $10 gift card. I just want to get a $50 gift card. I just want to get a $25 gift card and so forth. But you can always do the classic way of having one gift card product page and having these different drop downs for the, for the different designs. And that also can be used with the variation swatches and images plugin. Like I said earlier, it's in the, in the bio. And these gift cards are also available to be purchased on subscription. I won't cover in this tutorial, but essentially just treat it as the same thing as a simple or variable uh, subscription product. And that's it. That's it, guys. 
If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe, ring that bell to get all the notifications and all the links can be found in the description box below. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and kill gift cards with your e-commerce store. I think it's a great opportunity to boost sales for your holidays WooCommerce stores. Awesome. Have a good one. Peace.